Well, as for us here in the low country in the coastal empire, we're dealing with some of these coastal showers with that northeast flow coming in low back out to our south and east is helping bring in the wind that's, you know, not normally from the northeast this time of the year, but we'll take it, keeping it a little bit more comfortable, but also bringing in some showers. We've been talking about this for the last couple of days, alerting you to these showers, and here they are going through the low country. Beaufort getting in on the heaviest of rain right now, right over the Broad River, heading down at 278 and 170, and then crossing over into Chatham County shortly. Looking back out to the north, you can see some darker clouds if you look close, but most of the showers are back toward the coast, and Savannah's been dry so far today. Could have a few isolated showers, though, over the next hour to two or three hours. Feeling like 93, a shower would cool us off. Wouldn't feel too bad. Coverage of rain, though, pretty limited, and it's going to be mainly for our coastal areas to I-95 specifically, and then we dry things out late tonight. So let's take a look at what you can expect. These showers lining up about where we've been talking, 95, and they just kind of fizzle out. Maybe the sea breeze pushes these in a little bit west of 95, but notice as we get into this evening, it's pretty quiet across the area, hence just the 10% chance of rain after 6 o'clock. So if you're a 95 commuter and you're earlier in the day. Well, maybe you have some damp roads to deal with. Otherwise, otherwise it should be drying out pretty quickly. Your 12 hour forecast for tomorrow. Well, our average is 89. We're jumping above that forecast high 93 on our Friday, so it's only going to get hotter and drier. So Friday, no rain chance, and it's pretty minimal Saturday, Sunday and going into early next week as well. Talking about Saturday, though, alerting you to temperatures that are pretty hot. And this is about eight degrees or so above average for the forecast. 97 would be hottest day of the year in Savannah, specifically seeing some upper 90s likely for inland areas as well. Father's Day itself not looking terrible, a little bit cooler, still above average and just a slight chance for a shower. Now looking at Saturday specifically, wanted to alert you to those feels like temperatures or heat index values that will be close to 100 for just about everybody watching right now for Saturday afternoon. So if you have plans to go to the beach or if you're going to be hitting up the pool or just spending time outside, just be careful. I know this is very common during the summer, but it's not even officially summer yet. That's about a week away. So make sure you guys are taking those necessary precautions. Take care of yourself on Saturday. Now, as we then go into Sunday and early next week, quiet things down and well, those temperatures finally go down a little bit as well. Highs back near average in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Warning temperatures in the 70s and not uh, much of a rain chance for you next week either. Of course, we'll always keep you updated here and you can find your forecast anytime in the WTOC weather app.